Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of 1 Samuel, and today, chapter 4, verses 19 through 22. And the ark has gone into battle because they lost the war. They took the ark, and of course, they shouldn't have done it. And so what's the outcome? The ark is taken. The sons Hophni and Phinehas are dead. And now uh, word has come back. Eli is now just fallen over dead. And now we pick it up at that grim spot. Now his daughter-in-law, Phinehas' wife, was with child due to be delivered. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and gave birth, for her labor pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the women who stood by her said to her, Do not fear, you have borne a son. But she did not answer, nor did she regard it. Then she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory has departed from Israel, because the ark of God had been captured, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God has been captured. So here's another, you know, sad piece of the totality here. This woman is pregnant. She's on the point of giving birth. The battle with the Philistines happens. And now word comes, you know, her key relatives have have died. The ark is taken. But there is good news. In the midst of all this terrible uh, news, there's a miracle. Every birth is a miracle. Here's a baby boy born to her. And so they try to encourage her. Look, it's a baby boy. But she could only think the ark of God is taken. It's the end. There's no hope. And my husband is dead, and Ichabod, the glory, has has left us. You know what? It would be a pretty grim time. I'm not in her shoes. You're not in her shoes. It would be a very grim time. I don't want to second-guess her. But I do believe that at this time, God provided for her a miracle. A miracle. A baby boy was born. Naming the kid Ichabod, maybe not really the best move. Who wants you want your kid to go through life saying, yeah, what's your name? Oh, My name is The Glory Has Departed. We need to look up. It looks like it's the end. Here's a snapshot. It looks like it's the end for Israel. But boy, in my Bible, there's quite a bit, you know, there's quite a bit more after after this. And so God is still working. God is still working. We don't want to uh, prematurely just say, well, God is finished. It's all done. It's hopeless. There was a lot of hope. And I mean, after this, we would have kingdom eventually with David and Israel. and, And eventually we'll even have Jesus come and then the second coming. So there's great things ahead, beautiful things. Even though today we look out at the world, we look out at the church and we say, oh, this this, this doesn't seem to be what it should be. No, it isn't. But you know what? God isn't done yet. So don't call Ichabod on God's people or on God's plans or on God's purposes just yet. God will prevail. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, prematurely, we think it's hopeless. Prematurely, we give up. And this this woman, in a terrible situation, yes, but you made a miracle baby for her, and yet she couldn't see but that it was the end. Oh, Lord, help us not to cry or pronounce Ichabod on your things, not to do it prematurely. You have still many powerful things you want to do for your people and for this world. Lord, there are good things coming up, as we'll see very shortly. The ark's coming back. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, how about that? Let's keep looking up and let God be God. Let's not jump in there and say, well, I've got the answer. Let's let God give us the answer. Sometimes it just doesn't come in the moment that you expected it to. God be with you today.